How old are you now? Can you say I'm that? turning 32 in March. And see, that's why a lot of people don't like you, because you're 32, <laughs> and we're jealous. And then you get to be 64, and we get really jealous. <laughs>
as he mentored me and molded me. Mm -hmm. And as, you know, time gives you, uh, you know, s different roads and paths, mm -hmm. I clearly know what he was saying. Can you speak a little bit about allyship and why it's necessary to push, you know, people of color forward, black people forward, women forward in, in general? Well, um, to answer your question, I think in this day and age for me, I really don't have a filter. I have gone on Amazon, <laughs> I've looked for one, uh -huh. have not been able to find one. The girlies cannot find a filter. I, I, I say what I feel, uh -huh. um, and we have to be allies of one another. We have to promote one another. And it's like I tell people and share with people all the time, hire somebody that doesn't look like you. Uh -huh. You won't know, you don't know if I can't be a head coach in the NBA. Mm -hmm. If you don't hire me, give me an opportunity, mentor me, mold me, and if I don't do the job, fire me mm -hmm. or let me go. Mm -hmm. But if you don't hire somebody, you will never be able to give them a chance. We must advocate for each other and, and stand strong and not be afraid uh, you know, to share what we know. And mm -hmm. so that's really important. Um, I, Nancy, before before you go on, you, you said, uh, I want to dance. I want to be, I, I want to have that dance. But you are the first woman head coach of a men's pro sports team in general. Were you invited to dance or did you just own that dance yourself? So that's a great question. So I've been fortunate to coach, be a head coach in the WNBA mm -hmm. and a GM, to be an assistant, second assistant in the NBA with Sacramento. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you about my boss, Ice Cube. He is special. When he asked me and he said, you know, I want you to be the first female coach in a men's professional league in 2018. Mm -hmm. And I had just stepped away from the NBA because my mom got sick. And Cube said on our second conversation, he said, you will be the highest paid coach in the league. And I went, what are you talking about? He goes, whatever Dr. J makes, Michael Cooper makes, George Gervin, Rick Barry, Rick Mahorn, you'll be the highest paid coach. Mm. Whatever perks they get, you'll get. He said, tell your agent that. And that's equality. You're not only elevating me to the, the first seat, but you're paying me what our counterparts are making. Um, to me, that's a cultural changer. Mm -hmm. And that's what has to happen in life. Um, in any you know, vocation, mm -hmm. if my resume and your resume are equal, if m my white brother's resume is here and we have equal experience, then we should be paid equal. Mm -hmm. And it has not happened, mm -hmm. and it certainly hasn't happened for the black community mm -hmm. and black, brown, Latino, um, you know, minorities, mm -hmm. including women. Mm -hmm. That's my job right now. Um, it's not to be the goat in basketball, it's to be the goat as, you know, somebody who is being called to mm -hmm. do something powerful in, in the name of uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. We need each other. And I think that you sprinkle your magic everywhere, and your nickname is what, Lady Magic. So how did you get that, and why are you so magical? Well, when I was growing up and playing at, at Rucker Park, they called me Fire because you know my flaming red hair. I love the red hair. <laughs> and I think my personality, mm -hmm. and I was you know talking like this. Talking. And then when I talking. went to, <laughs> then when I went to Old Dominion. Mm -hmm. Um, I had played my freshman year, and you know, I'm throwing passes, mm -hmm. whip, whip, and magic came mm -hmm. my sophomore year, and Michigan State played in our Optimus Men's Holiday Classic, and Irvin was whipping the ball, and the next day, the headline in the Virginia Pilot was, if he's magic, she must be Lady Magic, because Nancy's been doing this, mm -hmm. you know, on our campus. And so, you know, Irvin, you know, we had that bond and we've had this lifelong, you know, friendship and mm -hmm. bond through the nickname, but more importantly, through friendship. I love it. And since, you know, we're friends, I follow you on Instagram and I've been looking at your Instagram page and I want you, we're, we're kind of, you know, pressed for time. So I want you to give me the first thought that comes to your mind whenever you look at these pictures, okay? This is the first one. 17 years old. 
Uh, this is my neighbor, uh, Mark Munchnik, and he and his family drove to Montreal to see me play. Uh, I finally left the Olympic Village and I went uh, to a friend's house mm -hmm. with him. And yeah, I'm 17 and I'm like, what the hell am I doing at the Olympics? That was, that's a great picture. Yeah, I love that one. Oh, and I know basketball's taking you far, but this, this nice little tropical number, I love that one. Uh, I love Maui. Mm -hmm. I don't get to vacation as much as I would like, but this is in Maui and sometimes I have to force myself to stop. To Pause, yeah. To pause, and this is a pause moment. I love Hawaii. Thank I, you. I, I love, I love being you out You just there. came back from Hawaii, I, right? all, I, I love surfing in Hawaii. It's like my thing. <laughs> these are these are my guys. This is uh, magic and thunder. Thunder is like the mayor. Mm -hmm. He walks around the house. He shakes hands with people. He makes sure the do doors are locked at night. Magic is like hell on wheels. Like, <laughs> zoom, zoom, he, yes, zoom, he zoom. just wants to play, and magic is, you know, Thunder's always like, dude, relax. It's, it's cool. It's I love cool. these guys. They're so cute. They're so precious. And if I ever meet them, I'm going to hold them and call them snuggles. Have an ease. Oh, they'll be looking at you the whole time. I love it. The statue at Old Dominion in October blew me away. I'm thankful for the sculptor, Brian Hanlon. Mm -hmm. Uh, he talked about this for years. I'm thankful to Derek Lewis, who started the multicultural uh, program at Pepsi. Mm -hmm. He and his family will be my lifelong friends and family. Mm -hmm. And this, this brought generations of monarchs and people. There were people there when I, from high school, mm -hmm. from Far Rockaway, mm -hmm. from my basketball team, the Monarchs, in my era, Marion Stanley, Wendy Larry came. Uh, my athletic director, uh, you know, Dr. Jarrett. And this was a cool moment for me. I'm thankful for Jay Harris, who emceed. It was a great moment. I love that you're forever. You hey, I did forever. ask the sculptor, we were on a call one day, you mm -hmm. know I my humor. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, a bunch of guys on the call, and I go, hey, if there's, you know, extra, you know, clay, Give me a little. I'm like a little, a little you know, I'd like to be a full figured. Hilarious. That and everybody, the guys, are, what? And I go, just a little bit more. Just a little Give bit. Give me a little cup size up. <laughs> <laughs> well, looky here. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. Okay, uh, there are people in life that you just love mm -hmm. and admire. A teaspoon, Teresa Weatherspoon, and Swin Cash. I'm so proud of them. Mm -hmm. Look what happens when you give somebody an opportunity. Mm -hmm. They shine, they, do. they teach, they become heroes. Two of the brightest, amazing women I know, mm -hmm. Swin is a VP with the Pelicans, and Spoon will be a head coach in the NBA one day. She will. And these are three of the best teachers I've ever had. So I love I'm them. I'm so thankful for you all. I, I told Spoon, I'm going to need a room, I'm going to need a title mm -hmm. when you hire me as your I love baby it. mentor. I love it. <sighs> TJ. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love my boy. Uh, this is in this is in Israel. Mm -hmm. I went over to see him and he comes here and he goes, my mother gets off a plane. We go right to the gym. We work out. We go and then he starts talking to me. He goes, and she has better abs than your me. Your abs do look impeccable. It's they are impeccable. Crazy. It's giving goals. I mean, I'm like 55 years old here. Period. Eight. So, yeah, I could eat a little bit. No, you look great. And Thank I, you. I, I might blow it up on my vision board to just like, <laughs> be like, I need these abs. Oh my gosh, you're going to make me cry. Um, uh, Cobes here. I'm, uh, I'm coaching Sacramento, and he comes to me on the court. I was warming up Rondo. He had just come in, and he says, are you okay? Are they treating you right? Mm. What do you need from me? He's reaching uh, in his pocket to get his phone to make sure that I have his digits in case there's anything that I need, and he says, um, will you come in and coach Gigi and work with Gigi mm. with me? 
uh, this, you know, he's special. Um, Vanessa is, I don't know how Vanessa does what she does. She is a power, a powerful woman, um, a great mom, great wife, and great friend. Um, my son thought I died on the helicopter because I was on the phone with him the night before and we were texting um, Friday night I was in the studio and we were setting plans for me to come out there Wednesday mm -hmm. the following week to coach Gigi's team at the Academy stay at the house we'll grab some food we'll take the helicopter if you need me you have as much time as you need but if you need me and I went duh if I need you yeah you're gonna be on the court with me the whole time uh, we never had that opportunity Saturday night he called me to firm up the plans TJ plays professionally basketball he was playing in uh, Israel landed in Italy and Sunday morning at like 9 a.m. he's blowing up my phone and I'm like TJ I'm at a conference he was mother you could hear your kid's voice is different. And he goes, Mother, um, you didn't hear. I said, TJ, hear what? He goes, Mom, Kobe Bryant died. I go, no, he didn't. I talked to him last night. He goes, Mom, his helicopter crashed, and I <sighs> thought you were on the helicopter. That was hard. Uh, I thought that people were going to take me to the hospital in California uh, where I was. I was hyperventilating. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. Mm. Tough, tough, tough moment. And he left behind such a great legacy on the game. And I know that you have so much more to give. So each day that you step on that court, what do you want to portray? Uh, I want to portray love and kindness. I want, you know, lift when you rise. I'm an athlete from the, seven, the 80s. It's 2023 mm -hmm. and n never been at a higher place in my career mm -hmm. uh, as far as respected and opportunities. Um, I, I'm not looking, I'm not looking in, to get another house or another car or another. I'm looking to take uh, my friends, um, you know, women like yourself and help elevate help. Um, I want to be that tipping point. I want to introduce you to people. The life's about networking. Mm -hmm. The more people you know, the more opportunities and uh, being prepared for your moment. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. I want to be a great mentor and I want to be a great friend. And you are. And I'm so thankful for you. Thank you. See, you're everything to me. I love me. you and I'm I proud love you of too. you. Thank you. You're amazing. You're amazing.